When I think on capitalism, I think on conquests. I think on rich guys enforcing their might onto others. I think on Western countries enforcing bank systems on other countries, forcing fake democracy on them without explaining what democracy actually means. Rule by the people or by an elected group of people who represent the people. I followed it. Uh, oligarchy, actually. <laughs> but what I just wanted to say with this mate is that when I think about capitalism, I think on oligarchy. Capitalism works very much similar to an oligarchy. If you understand the basic logic, uh, basic rules of ecology. There is a limited of finite resources, so that means that you, if you have to become more rich, take more wealth, you have to take it from someplace else. You don't create something out of nothing. But it seems many capitalists refuse or are blind to this idea because they're living in their own matrixes. They do not understand basic logic in or basic science, environmental science. Capitalism works like a bloodsucker, like Malcolm X called it once. He said, show me a capitalist and I show you a bloodsucker. He was right. He said also, you have to take it from someplace else. Also right. Capitalism works like vandalism in this in regard as um, it is. Vandalism uh, gets his rich his rich uh, endorsements, his rich nobles from exploitation of their own people, from their country or from their small kingdom. Now, capitalism is that don't exploit his own people, but exploits the countries of others to get their goods. That's where all your cheap clothing come from. That's where all your cheap shoes come from. Your cheap mobile phones. Make in China or Africa or some other developing nation who are basically enslaved by the West because of how supply and demand works and um, because of um, how poor the country is that we exploit. How poor people are, how more desperate, specific in a um, capitalist system, to work for lesser. That's the reason the, the Chinese people have done for so long on some small paychecks and Africa also because um, more and more of the cheap materials come from uh, Africa because China um, become richer and the Chinese young people don't want to work in factories anymore so they have to make other jobs for them no. and um, China becomes any day more capitalist it is actually a question if it actually become capitalist or fascist because capitalism and fascists their channels can be very easy become fascist like Mussolini have, have uh, showed the whole world when he created the concept of fascism by fusing communist socialist ideologies with capitalist conquests and capitalist dominion rule. Even, Ch even China calls themselves socialism. I am not so sure about that. Let I say this, that you call yourself something does not mean you are that necessary. 
when somebody um, have a large bowl of shit and some and he say this shit is not shit it is gold do that piece of shit transform into gold because he believes it he convinced himself that it is gold of course not but this kind of same irrational stupid crap is the same when capitalists say that that socialism or communism is uh, fascism or dictatorship. Look to the etymology of the word. Coming, community, ism, ideology. Do you understand what I, where I'm going to? Communism is an ideology based on the community. Socialism is a system based on a more social way of working with the society, looking more indiscriminative. In socialism, you have a sort of kind of class society. In communism, you don't have class. At least not in the way we understand classes to, of today. There is not a primitive hierarchy of families that rule the world in a true communist country. Capitalism is responsible for that just eight billionaires uh, have the same amount of wealth as the poorest 50% percent of the world's population and then I include their lives as well because the majority of the people don't have and I repeat don't have anything I by that calculation their lives were calculated their clothes were calculated their family times are calculated capitalism brings not wealth it takes wealth and give it to people who can afford it. People who have been brought up in a richer society. It is thievery. It is not clever business strategies. It is thievery. It is time we let's, it is time that we call things by what they are. When one man's love for fear clouds his moral judgments. Then we talk about vanity. Uh, then we talk about when he declines the divine will to his own whim. Then we talk about proud. When his own desires he not controls. Then we talk about the sin of lust. Win his own plight of food is more important than the lives of others. Then we talk about the sin of gluttony. When he becomes angry and stay angry on things ancestors of their opposites have done, then we talk about the deadly sin. Of wrath. And he, when he becomes angry, because he is reminded of his own errors in his own watching, this is pride as well. And when he uh, refuses to do something because it is not popular, then we talk here about moral cowardness when you are not a victim i don't imagine it entirely from your point of view because when you are not a victim it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims live them stupid and dirty like lamdul metaridol like hitler like Gaddafi, like saddam hussein and idan hamin 
and many more have done to their specific victim. But when you are the victim, it seems a little different from the other point of view. It's like when you speak up for the victims. Please awaken from your so-called horrific dream and go to you. There is no excuse for not being vegan at the same time. You don't need to eat animals to be healthy. You don't need that all. Because of capitalist ideologies, supply and demand, total paranoia of that mindset, around 84% of the, all the animals are raised in countries where children die from starvation because indirectly their food is if taken away by their corrupt politicians to feed to the West because their corrupt politicians are billionaires who don't care about their people but they are not so much better than our politicians or we if we don't stand up for them that's how capitalism works in capitalist societies the rich don't care about you if you are people are. if they get screwed with you they will do that's their ideology that's their ideology money makes the world in capitalist mindsets please not become offensive by the video think about what i've said today and the Republican of Nigeria, of the Republican of Niger, and the Republican of Sudan, all capitalist countries. Libya is also a capitalist country, poor. Indonesia, poor capitalist country. I know you don't like to think about them like capitalist countries because it don't fit in your perfect view about capitalism. But it is reality. When darkness and light become one, the reality split in a way and the truth become visible. I see you later.